What's going on guys? A little more ranked match action today on Madden 13. Playing with my Minnesota Vikings online for the first time against the New York Jets. You guys know how I like to do it. I like to be the underdog in these games and figure out how to use these poorer teams usually to my advantage and to have success with any team in the game. And so kicking off here already, we got Marcus Sherrill's back deep in the end zone along with Josh Robinson. There's some more speed on this Vikings team this year. And I think they're a good Madden team this year despite how bad they may be this year in real life. And we got Marcus Sherrill taking this opening kickoff going the distance now kind of surprised me a little bit like 100 and 203 yards but the the Minnesota Vikings are not a bad Madden team they've really been a good Madden team for a long time as long as they've had Adrian Peterson really and so you can see my opponent here with Tim Tebow running their little gator heavy formation I used to run like NCAA 09 or whatever Tim Tebow used to be in third down and six ponder on offense outside Percy Harvin one of the weapons you want to utilize on offense on Madden what I typically do is I keep him as the number one receiver but in those formations we're gonna have a slot I usually put Michael Jenkins on the outside along with Jerome Simpson and then keep Percy in the slot otherwise what ends up happening is you have Michael Jenkins the slow possession receiver in the slot whereas I like to have in the shifty Percy Harvin running drag routes over the middle and finding openings in the defense against the third corner usually and here you see I'm running the football a lot still this year although the running game is harder I find it a lot more fun to run this year I think I'm using a little bit Toby Gerhardt and Adrian Peterson they're both fun to run with Adrian Peterson of course is the home run hitter but Toby Gerhardt I think he's going to be a solid running back this year and the Vikings have a pretty good dual threat on Madden as well so using Toby Gerhardt on some stretch plays outside because he really wasn't covering the outside and then I bust him up the middle with Matt Asiata who fumbles the ball and that's a third running back they have they kept this year instead of Lex Hilliard then first down and goal from the one yard line handoff Adrian Peterson he finds his way into the end zone so didn't need to pass the ball out on this drive I ran the ball as long as they were going to let me run and that was all the way to the end zone so back again Again, Tim Tebow on offense he's gonna throw a deep Mistral Raymond going for the user and he ends up getting the deep pass to Santonio Holmes for 56 yards so you definitely got to limit those situations there with the one-on-ones of the Minnesota Vikings because they don't have the greatest cover players but user picking and user swatting is a lot more simplified this year how you can just hold like triangle or L1 and it basically does it for you I've still done a few on my own because I'm not sure how much I can actually trust it yet but for the most part it's worked really effectively and I'm not really sure how I feel about that because user picking was always a lot of fun at least when your timing was down but I had a lot of inconsistency with my user picking last year so not really sure how I like it right now it's been pretty effective for me and I'm not really sure if there is an advantage to being good at it on your own manually as opposed to letting the basically just the computer take its course while holding the button but you can see I do give up a nice pass downfield now he's in Minnesota territory at the 40 yard line we have 35 seconds to go in the first half he gets the pass out to Joe McKnight who gets past a couple of defenders and is tackled by Chad Green Greenway at the 22 so trying to hold my opponent to a field goal but he threads the needle here nice pass Harrison Smith cannot get there in time as a touchdown pass to Dustin Keller down by four now but I'm gonna run the ball now play it safe I want to throw an interception but if I can get a big play in the running game then maybe I'll see what I can do with the time I have left second down and two now the Vikings jet sweep here with Percy Arvin coming to the backfield taking the handoff now and some great blocking downfield actually and that's gonna get me a big first down instead of going out of bounds I elect to run for some extra yards while I have two timeouts. I'm at the 42 yard line now. First and 10. Christian Ponder going outside. Kyle Rudolph going to get the first down and go out of bounds. And I end up kicking the field goal with three seconds to go to make it a seven point ball game again. Rookie kicker in there. Blair Walsh knocks it home. 17 to 10 at the half. Now a pretty good first half for me. Really other than that touchdown pass to Dustin Keller. It was pretty solid. So Jets on offense to begin the second half. Second and 11. He's rolling out with Mark Sanchez. He's going to go nowhere. Around that nickel 3 DNs package in here now it's a more of a nickel pass rush package where you have one of your backup defensive ends at defensive tackle which the Vikings really do and a lot of teams actually do this but Everson Griffin is the guy they substitute in and he had the sack in that last play and then he tries to go deep but that pass is not going to be hauled in by San Antonio Holmes so he punts it away now in back deep I have Marcus Shields who already has a kick return for a touchdown in this game and has some blockers set up in front of him now trying to weave his way into Jets territory now cut back inside of the spin move gets caught up and tackled the 46 yard line well actually at the 49 now we gain three yards and now at the 46 but the pass outside the Jerome Simpson another weapon on this team the Vikings have a legitimate deep threat now in Jerome Simpson so that's nice to have on Madden as well and here I completely miss my outside receiver must have been Michael Jenkins there running deep but I was definitely looking for the pressure right away because I was running a play action ended up going to Percy Arvin not getting the pass in bounds and so I kick a field goal 20 to 10 now towards the end of the third quarter about midway through actually 2.15 to go Mark Sanchez to throw he's going to lob it 
it deep for Santonio, and I knock it away with Mr. Raymond. That one was with the computer-assisted coverage, I guess. I was holding L1, trying to knock it away, and it worked. And then back pass again with Mark Sanchez, and it's intercepted the rookie, Josh Robinson, third-round draft pick. He's going to get the interception now and try to get as many yards on the return as he can, but he's knocked out of bounds after a short gain, so Vikings football at the 32. Jets bring some pressure, but get the pass off to Michael Jenkins, avoiding a defender and getting down at the 14-yard line. Then draw play, Adrian Peterson up the gut. He's going to go untouched to the end zone. A, a defender does fall on him as he crosses the plane of the goal line, but easy touchdown there, 27-10. Trying to keep up the play of my defense, not giving up any big plays downfield. That's what he's trying to do here with Tim Tebow, and it's intercepted by Chris Cook. One-on-one -on -one at the computer takeover, and it made the catch. And so Cook now has a great return already into Jets territory across the 40 to the 37. Three receivers out for Christian Ponder. Clean pocket outside Jerome Simpson. First down. Shoved out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. I'm liking him so far, man. He's fun to use online. I gotta try to use that hurdle, though, still. And then here's Ponder trying to skate the pocket. Nowhere to go, and he's sacked by Calvin Pace. So third down and goal. Don't want to force anything, though. I have a three-score lead. No need to really force anything, and so I take the sack. I believe that was Antonio Allen coming on the blitz for the sack. So it's 30 to 10 after I kick a field goal. Up by 20, though. He's going to launch it deep. He wants Santonio. And I got the mismatch there with Antoine Winfield, the veteran. But I was also playing cover zero in that situation, which I probably shouldn't have been doing with a 20 point lead when I know he's going to probably stretch the field deep. So I'm back on offense now. Christian Ponder, third and five. And what do I do? I throw an interception because I thought I could probably lob it over their head there, throw it to an open spot. Still messing around with the precision pass in this game and I just had a big miscue there shouldn't have even thrown the ball there in that situation and taken the chance because I gave the Jets a short field now they're only down by 13 points with three minutes to go then handoff to up the middle to Sean Green that's going to be about a gain of three tackled by Harrison Smith running some no huddle now second down and goal inside of three minutes he's going to hand the ball off again but the Vikings have a very good front seven for stopping the run Kevin Williams on the tackle this time so another no huddle play for him split back Sanchez back in the pocket rolling to his left good coverage across Across the board, but he eventually finds Stephen Hill, gets a little bit of separation into the end zone. Touchdown 30 to 26 now, and I have to run the football. I gotta clinch this game, no more passing the ball and throwing interceptions. And so Adrian gets the first down here, and that takes it to the two minute warning. So the Jets have all three timeouts. I have to get a couple more first downs yet. Adrian right side tackled by Darrell Revis after a gain of four. Now we're gonna run the counter play left side. I know he's gonna probably think I'm running up the gut, so I stretch the field out a little bit with Adrian and his speed. Go out side get the first down but now he's using his timeouts got to get one more first down Adrian in the backfield single back once again twin tight end up the gut this time and gets about seven eight yards in the carry and they take another timeout with a minute nine remaining handoff to Matt Aziata can't get the first down there so one more time third and two my best against his best Adrian Peterson first down Minnesota clinching the victory take a couple of knees Christian Ponder and the game is over the Vikings get the victory I win this game by a score of 30 to 24 it got a little bit interesting towards the end there I didn't want to give up that big lead I had 20 point lead late in the game and I threw a stupid interception I should have never thrown and gave up a couple of big plays and so I do hold on though and get the victory and so the video is coming to an end I hope you guys enjoyed it a lot more ranked matches and Madden 13 on the way starting up my connected careers mode soon I believe the rosters come out tomorrow so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like and I'll see you guys next time